Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm making vegan Caesar salad. Now before you stop me, I'm pregnant, and I love Caesar salad, but because I'm pregnant, I'm not allowed to eat raw eggs, and I know I'm not the only human that's ever been in that boat. So I came up with this alternative that's egg-free that uses cashews and avocado to make the Caesar dressing, but it's still very reminiscent of a traditional Caesar salad, so I think you're gonna love it. You better love it. So the crux of the Caesar dressing is some cashews. The thing is you need to soak the cashews. So these have actually been soaking overnight. You can see, well, um, I don't know, you don't have anything to compare it to, but they are plumper than a dry cashew. So you want to soak them for at least four hours up to overnight. And you can even, I've even soaked them for like 24 hours in the fridge. Just put them in there and forget about them. Sometimes that happens and it's okay. So we've got those here, but first we're going to put our liquids into the blender, which is mostly some lemon juice. So you want about a quarter cup, which seems like a lot, but this is gonna make enough dressing for like a couple of big salads. And depending on how juicy your lemons are, that could be uh, one lemon, or you might need an extra half of a lemon, or if they're really like barren, you might need two whole lemons. Let's just wing it here. Let's just see what happens. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. And the garlic and the lemon is what's gonna kind of trick your taste buds into thinking that this is a traditional Caesar dressing. Although obviously traditionally it does have raw eggs and anchovies. Since I'm not vegan, if I were making this for myself and my husband on a regular dinner night, I would probably add an anchovy filet just to make it taste even more um, like a Caesar salad. But since I wanna keep this vegan, since I know you're out there, we're gonna use some capers instead. It's like a little berry that's pickled and they have a nice briny flavor. It's not gonna like really trick anyone. It's not gonna taste like fish, but it's a nice salty vinegary thing that has a similar, similar flavor to an anchovy. And then we can put in our cashews. I'm gonna drain that liquid off. And these are raw, I should specify that. They're not roasted or salted or anything, they're just raw cashews. And then some avocado. I'm just gonna use about a quarter of this large avocado. If you were using one of the smaller ones, you might wanna use a little bit more, like a half of one. But basically you want about equal parts avocado and cashew. Slice it like that. And then we should just be able to peel the skin off and get those cubes in the blender. And finally, some salt. And this is another spot place, like the lemon juice, where you might, might be a little bit more than you think it needs, but it needs it, trust me. And some black pepper. And you'll wanna have some black pepper on hand too for when the salad's all done and it's all tossed together. And you could do it like they do to Olive Garden and they come around with a big pepper grinder. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this in my blender. We're gonna blend it up until it's smooth and through the top of the blender as it's blending, I'm gonna add maybe two to four tablespoons of water just until the dressing comes together to a nice, pourable consistency. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so I've got my lettuce here. I already tore all the leaves off of the stem and washed it, and then just put it back in the bag to chill. Give it a little shake right onto your floor. And that's the secret to a real crispy salad is to wash everything and then put it back in the fridge covered in a bowl or in a plastic bag, kind of wet. And leave all that wash in water in the bottom of the bag there. So this was about half a head of romaine lettuce. So how, I mean, this depends on how wet you like your salad but I would say start with about three tablespoons of dressing for this amount of lettuce. And then you just wanna to toss it to coat. Gorgeous, yeah, that seemed like just the perfect amount. So each lettuce leaf, oops, sorry, that was loud. Each lettuce leaf is 
nicely coated, but there's not a bunch of dressing sitting in the bottom that's gonna make it get all soggy. I've got some croutons here. These are called Caesar salad croutons, so they're not vegan. It's because they have cheese all over them, but you can find croutons that don't have cheese. Um, tell me when. Remember, guys? Oh, and then you're like, when, when? And there's a lot of pepper on your food. Okay, so let's give it a bite. So if you like this recipe, I think a thing that would go really, really nicely with it if you were making dinner for a vegan friend or lover or yourself is I've done a couple of different veggie burger recipes, homemade veggie burgers um, that are both vegan. So I'll link to those. There's a black bean quinoa one and then a regular more versatile sort of like any bean you like veggie burger. Let's see what this is like. But if you didn't tell anyone, they would just think this is a regular old Caesar salad. And you'd be like laughing behind their back in the corner, like an asshole. Just kidding, you're not like that. You're not like that, you're a nice person. And I thank you for watching and check out this printful recipe at highlycooking.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.